The room you see is the actual room where this incident occurred. The arrow on the left indicates where the 12-foot drywall, sheetrock, was located at the time of the incident. The arrow on the right indicates what I call a dogleg wall where the woman was standing at the time of the incident. Here we show the results of tests that were taken on 26 sheets of gypsum wallboard leaned up against a wall. A calibrated chatillion was used and we tested this stack of drywall at various X distances, which is which are that distance is also known as the kickout distance. We tested it for a kickout distance of one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five, six, and six point one. A particular interest is the X at two inches which is 45.5 pounds to move that stack from the wall. This slide indicates a replication of the bedroom inside a warehouse. The arrow on the left indicates where the drywall will be placed for the testing and the arrow on the right indicates where the woman was standing on the date of the incident. This is my attempt to pull over 26 sheets of 12 by 4 half inch sheetrock with a kick out distance of six inches. Note the distance at the bottom. I was not able to move this amount of sheetrock with a kick out distance of six inches. This section of video shows the ease that it took to move 26 sheets of 4 by 12 half inch sheetrock with a kick out distance of 2 inches. Note at the bottom the distance between the wall and the first sheet of approximately 2 inches. In this next section of video, I'm going to pull over the 26 sheets of 4 by 8 half inch sheetrock with a kick out distance of 2 inches at the bottom. I'm going to pull it over and illustrate how it behaves uh, in this room model.
In this section of video, we have added a long cushion and have increased the framing at the corner where the lady was standing at the time of the incident. Again, I'm pulling over 26 sheets of 4 by 12 half inch gypsum board with a 2 inch kick out at the bottom. Here we have the 26 sheets of 4 foot by 12 foot half inch gypsum wallboard. The arrow indicates the lawn cushion where the woman was standing at the time of the incident. Where th this arrow also indicates where there is a load, a calculated load, of approximately 1,700 pounds static. When the drywall is falling, the dynamic load at this location could easily exceed 3,000 pounds. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for your time.